Welcome to Sleeping with Sarah. I'm Sarah Alvarez, and I'm here with my guest, Anastasia Washington. Hello. How'd you sleep last night, Anastasia? Horribly. Horribly? I, I do not sleep. <laughs> oh, you don't sleep at all? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a constant insomniac. Oh, yes, you're the opposite of me. That's right. Right, yeah. <laughs> if we could only find the balance between us. I know. Like, can we join forces and then we can Somehow. both have normal sleep? <laughs> Maybe. I've always had weird sleep. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I feel like insomnias either have different hobbies that they do late at night or yeah. they, uh, like, get a lot done at night. Do you I, get a lot of writing done? I do get a lot of writing done, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm like a script crazy, like at night insomniac person. Oh, you're like, tip, tip, tip. oh okay, I'm gonna just stay up and it's look at the clock. Yeah. It's like, oh wait, it's 6 a.m. The sun yeah. is coming up. I should probably go to bed at some point. <laughs> See, me, it's just like me being asleep and then waking up and being like, what time is it? Like, because I get thrown oh, yeah. off with the timing. Right. One time I was in Mexico with some friends and I took a nap and I woke up and I started getting ready. Like, we were going to the beach during the day and like, Sarah, it's 7 p.m. at night, not, you know. Yeah, that, that must be crazy. <laughs> That is, it just throws me off. <laughs> but I've always had weird, weird sleep pattern. Like when I was a kid, I, sl- I slept walk. How do you say sleep sleepwalk? Walked? Sleepwalk? You I were slept- a sleepwalker? I was a sleepwalker. <laughs> Why is that hard for me to say? That also sounds like a horror movie, like a child sleepwalker saying creepy things to you. Like Yeah, apparently I used to go into every single room in our house and just turn on the lights and it would just like annoy everybody. <laughs> you turn on the lights and open all the cabinet drawers. <laughs> and then they're just like, there's a ghost. No, yeah. it's just our sleeping. Then sleep- I would take out all sleep- the knives. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be like, you're not my mommy. <laughs> my mommy. Not the mama. And then it went into a dinosaur thing. <laughs> Dinosaurs, oddly enough, has one of the like, like saddest series finale ever because uh, yeah, it's basically the world is ending. Yeah, well, also the pilot is pretty sad too because they're trying to decide whether or not to kill the grandmother. Oh, oh, yeah, I don't remember like, that. They're one. like retire. They're like whether or not to send her off the cliff or not, and then hmm. they decide, oh no, we'll keep her. See, where, <laughs> where are the darker family friendly shows? Like, I think in the nineties there were so many. But nowadays, not as much. It's no. either like super adult or for kids. And right. I think the kids need some darkness. They do. Yeah. I mean, I, we had so much. We had so much. Eerie Indiana. Like, uh, oh, God. I mean, I had to explain Fern Gully to somebody recently. You know, Fern Gully, you had like, even. I know, it's hard. Uh, Avatar. <laughs> uh, or like, yeah, yeah. Basically, he yeah, took that. He yeah. took it. Um, yeah, he stole that. Krista no was awesome, that. though. <laughs> Krista should have been an avatar. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, no, but like there were like like um, there were so many like darker cartoons. All dogs go to heaven and like. Oh gosh. But these are like also ones that were like old for me too. You know, like I wasn't out. You know, I wasn't going to the thing to see them. It was just like seeing I them was. on tape. <laughs> you were so brave. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, everything was, it just felt like they wanted us to deal with our emotions somehow <laughs> with the darker subjects. And now they're like, you've nah. dealt with, it's like you've dealt with enough dark shit because you dealt with COVID. So we're just going to give you Bob the Builder and he's like, got no problems. That's fair, I guess. Uh, I mean, I guess the close, no, I guess Bob's Burger is not even that dark. It's just like, no. but it is kind of like, not raunchy, but like it's. It pushes the limits a little bit. Yeah. I love Bob's Burgers. That's good. Mm. It's such a great, great, great show. Can you do any of the voices? No, but my mom says I um, I was Louise when I was a kid. Okay. And I'm like, that's kind of, um, not, I don't know if that's a I- great thing. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, yeah, when you were a kid, not now. Like, I feel like you're saying it is now. <laughs> yeah. I feel like sometimes parents like, yeah, give you like a backhanded compliment about your childhood. Yeah. You know, you were a really precocious kid. You were really fucking annoying as a child. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there's an equivalency there somehow. <laughs> well, when you when I think about like all of my nicknames as a kid, I must have been like a monster. Oh, what were your nicknames? Um, Animal from Muppets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bam Bam. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ba- baby Woman. Okay. Um, and then Baby Ethel Merman. <laughs> Baby Ethel Merman? I've never heard that as a nickname ever. That's It was my singing voice. Like when I was doing soundtracks <laughs> as a kid, people were like, she's like a Baby Ethel Merman. <laughs> So I'm like, yeah, that that's me. <laughs> I don't I can't even think about how Ethel Merman sounds when she sings, because I just think oh. of her from like 
the I Love Lucy. Oh, it's loud. It's like, <laughs> like is it like she's had like a thousand cigarettes in her life or like, like definitely okay. and loud, just See? really, really loud. I was also a very loud child. Yeah. Uh, I was very loud um, and outgoing and probably very annoying. Yes, you know, I think I was just a boss lady, mm-hmm. and they just didn't recognize yet. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, yeah, I think I was right with the way I felt as a child and just everyone's still catching up. (laughs) Yeah, everyone's just catching up to the fact that I was a boss lady, like a baby boss lady. Is that a movie? Wait, yeah, wait, (laughs) there's boss baby. So what about boss baby lady? No, baby baby, baby boss lady. (laughs) (laughs) Is it DreamWorks? DreamWorks, hit me up. Yeah, 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 let's let's talk to DreamWorks. Let's get this pitch going. Baby boss lady. (laughs) Say it five times. Just kidding, don't. (laughs) <laughs> uh, did you ever make up your own tongue twisters? Oh, I mean, no, because like I feel like everything's a tongue twister to me. <laughs> well, plus, we had to do them in school all the time. Like they'd be like, uh, like red leather, yellow leather. Yeah. I always like the one, my mother is a mother pheasant plucker. She plucks mother pheasants. She's the pleasantest mother pheasant plucker out of all who pluck mother pheasants. Because it's so easy to say motherfucker. That's like what right. they're trying to get you to accidentally do. Mother, mother, mother. I have our mother plucker. What? <laughs> what was that? I've never heard this one before in my life. Oh, really? <laughs> no. Uh, this is from like acting school and like t- in my teenage years. And just like, and I was like, oh, it's so cool because it's like, oh, if I mess up, I just didn't do the tongue twister right. I cussed, you know? Because <laughs> I was a nerd. I was like, like, tried not to like. Not me. Yeah. <laughs> I was such a nerd. What are yeah. you talking about? <laughs> I mean,. I was a nerd, but I wasn't a complete rule follower. Like, were you a rule follower as a kid? Teenager? I guess so, because I fear authority so, so much. Oh. I'm very scared. Like, if anybody of authority walked in here and was like, like, just walked in with that, I would be like, I'm so sorry. Like, I wouldn't even have done anything. I'm just like, I'm sorry. Is this because of being a child actor, just like the director and producer yeah. in the room <laughs> being like, hey? Yeah, I think I, I think I feel authority and I go, I don't know. I, I, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Yeah, I guess that She's might like, be it. Wait, yes, I'm an actor. I, I will do whatever. Tell whatever. me what to do. What, what yeah. emotion do you want me to feel right now? Exactly. Just move me over. I don't know. I, uh, yes, probably. There's probably a lot of things I need to unpack about my shot. I'm learning. Like, oh, God, all these documentaries are coming out about oh. child actors. And people were like, well, have you watched it? I was like, no, I lived it. I'm good. I'm still unpacking. Oh. <laughs> Leave me alone. I know. <laughs> that's terrifying. Like, I remember, like, as a kid, like, I really wanted to be on all that. And I was like, I'm so glad I wasn't. I'm so glad glad that was not my path god i still wish i was on all that <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> like, i sacrificed my childhood for different 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 properties <laughs> but you know there's still some properties that i could have sold my soul to a little bit more like, um. <laughs> like i would be willing <laughs> but you still get some residual checks every holiday season right oh god i get yeah i get them all year round but re- christmas is a big big deal and so is like Thanksgiving, which is a weird one to say. Why is that the Adams family? One? The Adams family. People like to watch the second one around Thanksgiving because of the whole turkey play that they do in the play. summer. Which, looking back, it's like looking yeah. back on that whole thing. I, I remember like hearing it for the first time as like an adult and going, "Mom, like you let me sing this," and she was like, "You didn't know." I was like, "It's like eat me." Like, <laughs> I'm talking about like, <laughs> eating the child, eating the children, and she's like, "Yeah, you didn't really get most of the stuff." And I but, was like, <laughs> but Adams was like a badass there, you know. She, she, was. she was just being she like, was. "Yeah, they really did. They slaughtered the pilgrims, and she got into like." Uh, I rewatched the old ones, yeah. So like the um, she got into the oh Bermuda Triangle. Are you referring to the ones that I'm in as the old ones? No, <laughs> no, no. We're a child though. <laughs> there are older ones. <laughs> there are. I'm so sorry. I, I am the worst. I'm sorry. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just joking. But by the I way, how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> but this is how I feel too. Sometimes it's like because my range of friends is so big right yeah. now. Like I, I've gone to in the last year, I've gone to a 24 year old's birthday party and a 50 year old's birthday party. Uh, which feels like a huge range, yeah, um, yeah. which is strange. Uh, and it's also like very interesting how differently I choose to like dress at those. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like what, like what is the, you know. But I mean, 
Some 50 year olds, they dress pretty cool. Oh, no, it was fun. It was in Vegas. It was like, oh, like there's a very big difference. Also, very big difference in the budget of the birthday party. That's that's also a thing. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the 50 year olds, I was like, okay, I got some points. I'm going to fly to Vegas for, you know, 24 hours to go to this birthday, you know. Damn. Yeah. That's like a hangover situation. Yeah, well, it was. It's you know my friend's fiftieth. She has she has the, ma- she has the Magic Mike live show in Vegas. Oh, so we did like, you guys go? Yeah, we went to that, and we went to like an after thing. I forget what bar, but um, but like a really that's how like good a trendy the night bar. Was. You went to a bar, and you don't remember the bar. Oh yeah, that's, I, mean, <laughs> I just celebrated Purim for the first time. Yeah, uh, didn't so you that know? that is uh, yeah, that was my first time <laughs> celebrating Purim, which is a, a Jewish holiday where you have to. The, it is in the 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 text that you should get so drunk that you can't tell the hero from the villain in the story. Uh, yeah. So you're supposed to get that drunk. And that's like, I mean, like, I'm going to follow it if I'm supposed to. I mean, yeah. like, if it says. It's scripture. But, but I don't know why it's not <laughs> a big hall. Like, why? I don't know why bars haven't adapted it like St. Patrick's Day. Because that could be a huge. It's like a. I know. You, you get to dress up in costumes and you're supposed to drink. I'm surprised bars have not adapted that to just be a holiday everyone celebrates. Yeah, it is kind of disappointing. Yeah. Bars, I mean, you should get on that. <laughs> get on that. But if I ever own a bar, which I'm not going to own a bar, but if I ever own a bar, that will be one of the yeah. holidays that we celebrate. What would you call your bar? Okay, so I've wait. I, I have a restaurant that I want to have. Ooh, okay. But well, what is that? It's called Peckers, <laughs> and the it's a woody. It's like a woodpecker. Oh. It's the symbol, and it's like all guys with no shirts on serving okay. um, hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like Hooters, but Peckers. But more important than Hooters. Yes. <laughs> Way more important than Hooters, because it's Peckers. <laughs> Give me money. <laughs> <laughs> just just sausages and salads and cocktails. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> sausages, salads, and cocktails. That's it. I feel like that's the perfect menu. <laughs> then you could be like, toss my salad. Okay. <laughs> Listen, we're a very progressive and open restaurant. Yeah. We encourage fun with consent. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Give me money. (laughs) You know you want to go. You know you want to go to Peckers. (sighs) Come on. (laughs) But so you would have a bar alongside Peckers. Yeah. I mean, there would be cocktails inside Peckers. Um, Yeah, it would be kind of like Hooters, but our outfits would be better. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, I like Hooters, though, I will say. Yeah, I've been there several times. It's been a while. It's been probably, like, eight years since I... I, I haven't gone to one since, like, I was in Chicago. Yeah, it's been a bit for me, but I like. I used to like to take um, guys I was dating there because it makes them so uncomfortable, and it's so funny. <laughs> oh, you so love just funny. making people... Like... It's fun. My... It's like, hey, look at her Hooters, right? My no, part I won't. Yeah, like, <laughs> Yeah, it's sort of people where it's like you like to make people uncomfortable, yeah, a little which bit. is fun. Yeah. yeah. I mean, me and my family, like me and my sisters, there's like we're a very big group of women and we go to Hooters, mm-hmm. just like us as women. So I love bringing guys there because, especially if you're dating them, because it's like they're so weird. They get so weird. And it's like, it's not like you've never seen looked, a tit. Yeah, you've seen tits before yeah. and you've looked at tits. No, I've never looked at tits. Like, everyone has <laughs> tits. And I never go out with, like, guys that really are, like, the, like, I want to go, like, I want a guy that, like, let's go to the strip club. And then, like, after, let's, like, get, like, all into it. And guys guys I date are always like, I don't want to go to a strip club. What's the point? I can't sleep with him. And I was like, yeah, but you can sleep with me after. Yeah. It's it's, 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 like, you know, gets you excited. Yeah. Uh, It's like a couple thing. That's still something. So I haven't ever been to a traditional strip club. I have been to something like, you know, Jumbo's Crown Room. And then I've also. I just recently went there for the first time. uh, Yeah. Loved. So I've been to Jumbo's Crown Room. Still not quite a strip, strip, strip club. And then this last year I went to Amsterdam another 24-hour trip after my Europe trip, and uh, I did go to a sex club. So I've been to a sex club, but I mean, not a strip club. So eh, I mean, you probably went to the better ones, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, not that, like, I, a traditional strip club is is great. It's awesome. Yeah. You should have that experience. You should but, have some bad wings. And uh, like, I, That's the thing I don't get. It's like there's a full, like, salad bar. There's a full, yeah. like, uh, you know, whole menu that you can mm-hmm. just... It's like, oh, why'd you go to the strip club? Oh, just to have, just to have lunch. Just yeah, that, that's why I go to strip clubs. 
<laughs> not for today's and ales. But that's the thing. It's like I've been to lots of burlesque shows, and I feel like that's like the art of it, like the the the, the skill of the yeah. pole and all of those things too. It's definitely the artsy part of it. But I think you know all of it is in itself art. Some of it is just sadder art. Oh. <laughs> and I guess depending on where you see it at, you know, like a strip club like in Vegas versus a strip club in Florida, right? And <laughs> and like where in Florida and <laughs> yeah, and what hour. What hour of the day is the difference? <laughs> yes, yes. Like, are you there at eleven thirty a.m.? Mm. Uh, that's, that's different. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's the same thing with bars. Like, you yeah. know, what time you're at a bar? Uh, yeah, definitely makes you. <laughs> my uncle owns a bar in Southern Illinois in this small little town. It's called the Block. It's literally the bar in this 15,000 person town and uh, we used to go and hang out there during the day as kids because there's a pool table and there's like entertainment they had a pack that's why I'm so good at Pac-Man because they had a Pac-Man machine and I fucking rock that shit yeah. uh, but there was always a few like regulars that were there like all day that all like day. knew me but that still when I go back to this town to visit like my grandma people are like oh I remember you you, you know so, and I'm like I have no idea who you are lady yeah. um I feel kind of bad about that. <laughs> well, you know, I'm kind of like that with no- like with everybody. Were you about to say normies? No, no like like non comedian, non performers. <laughs> well, I was gonna say normal people, but I but not that people that are at bars not are not normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, why am I saying it that way? And then then you caught me. <laughs> no, <I'm> sorry, <laughs> you caught me. I catch you. <laughs> I, I hear the other word, and I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, like. I, I think I look I have the same face that I probably was born with. So sometimes people will recognize me from like kindergarten or something like that and I'm like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> like Stacy, like, blah 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 blah. Oh, because you went by Stacy as a kid. I did go out by Stacy as a kid. Uh, yeah. yeah. They changed my name like four times when I was a kid. Yeah. So yeah. Like, yeah what, what, Stacy. Stacy Allison. Stacy Washington, and then Anastasia Washington. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of changes. Yeah. I think as a kid I wanted a different name because my brother has a unique name. My brother's name is Houston. And like, that's a cool name. Sarah, so many Sarahs. And well, yeah, but it's cool, right? No, I mean, it's, I, I have no problem. I like my name now, but I think as a kid, I wanted I wanted a name that could be like for either gender as a, as a kid. I really wanted like O'Reilly or like an Austin. O'Reilly yeah. uh, Auto Parts? <laughs> I love that for you. Oh, 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 right. By the way, in the blackening, that was such a good theater experience because oh. there's this whole part where if you never, if you haven't seen the blackening, you should definitely you should see, it. see it. Dwayne Perkins, great oh, guy so from good. Chicago, um, and Three Pete that Chicago, helped yeah. build that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But it was <laughs> seeing it in the theater was the right way to see it because there are certain the call and part. response things that they expect the audience to do. And there's this one part where everybody sings the old Riley Auto mm-hmm. Part song. And yeah. it's like that is brilliant. Like as a filmmaker, like that would be such a cool, like satisfying thing to be like, I'm writing this because I want the whole audience to sing this a random ad that we've all heard for oh, 20 yeah. years. Yeah. And we'll see if we do it. Like, I love that. I mean, we were all playing along in the audience. Uh, and I was like, yeah, I would have survived. And you know why I would have survived? Because just like the mixed girl in the blackening, I too am trying to prove myself constantly all the time. <laughs> it is so realistic. As as a half black chick, I'm always like trying to overcompensate for all that I'm lacking in one area or another. <laughs> like, oh. you, you, yeah, like, you talk a lot about that in your, your comedy I and do, your I do, yeah. I do. It's like it's it's a you know it's a thing and, and to see it on screen and to, I was like well damn I just feel called up. <laughs> It's, it's getting a sequel, which is cool. Oh, I'm so excited for yeah, that. I oh, know. Yeah. Well, I know so that's good. one of your... I, I really enjoy the genre, too, of uh, horror comedy. I uh, do. I am a big horror and comedy person. And so horror comedy, to me, is like chef's kiss. Yeah, it's a chef's perfect combo. Kiss. And I'm liking that it's getting more and more like popularized yeah. and mainstream. Yeah, like uh, Black Knee at Renfield. I'm trying to think of other recent horror comedies. Um, like in the mainstream. Well, I mean, I don't know if you would call it horror comedy, but I just saw Late Night with the Devil, which has some comedic elements. Okay. Definitely calls out Hollywood and like late night television. Oh, okay. A lot. 
um, which is really fun. It's a good watch. Um, yes, they used AI. Uh, oh, but, uh, AI to like write it or to? No, they used AI for the title cards, which feels <sighs> unimportant, <laughs> really. Like, yeah. uh, like I wish they had just done the title cards themselves because like it's taking away from the actual film, which is like oh, such because, a good film. Oh, because like all the reviews are like, well, they used AI for the title yeah, cards, and that's yeah. what this whole article is about versus what the movie is about. Yeah, and and how great like the cast is, and like I I'm just like God, I could have done that in Canva for you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I think Canva can call me. I think Canva has AI you can use now, but I never use the AI, AI I function. Listen, next time you're making a movie and you want to use AI, I will do your Canva title cards for you. <laughs> for free! Um, God damn it, I shouldn't have said that. No, no, no. I'll and do by, it for by the way, a role! But yeah, yeah. <laughs> by the way, this, this, this podcast is not a contract. Anything you say on it doesn't mean it's... it's I can change my mind. <laughs> Although it is crazy with AI being able to like analyze like past podcasts and things yeah. like that. Like people are getting in trouble for stuff they said on a podcast ten years ago. I mean that's been before AI. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> but but now they have AI that'll like transcribe it and then they just search for something controversial and then like, well, you know, AO Edibiri, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry, I really like her work. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, she said something about um who was it? Um a Jennifer Lopez, and then like she did SNL the same week, and like she had a Paul, you know, it was a whole thing. What? Listen, we all said stupid shit. Just apologize and be a better person. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Like, like, I just feel like we as a society are allowed to grow and evolve. And I'm a dumbass, and I say some dumbass shit. And if I get caught in that, please correct me, and yeah. I will correct my life. Hopefully. See, I am so glad they didn't have social media. Like, social media wasn't as prevalent and the cameras weren't as good when I was in <sighs> when I was in grade school and, you know, high school. Like, like it was starting to be, but it was more like, oh, like, MySpace. You can't well, do yeah. Facebook. Well, yeah. It's a lie to be on Facebook. When I think <laughs> about, like, the kid actors, too, like, nowadays, like, now that they're having all these documentaries about the age that I grew up in as, as an actor, as a kid actor, I'm like, yeah, you had to have a documentary because we didn't post stuff like that. We didn't tell on each other like that. It was mm. all secret, even though I have some stuff on my video phones from back in the day. Just so you know, I have it. I don't, I'm never going to share it because that's not my generation. But like, you know, it's like, it's like, we didn't do that. Like, yeah. we didn't like post everything. We didn't share everything. And like society didn't either. Like, yeah, they try to cover up a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure that that's a good thing, I'm going to say. But I think there's somewhere in between where it's like, you get caught doing something bad and you learn. And yeah. you hopefully, you know, Bro. get your shit together. Yeah, And it's not like. <laughs> Out online forever. Yeah. And like it's not held against you forever. I know. Yeah. And that's that's the other thing, is like people pulling pranks. Like I remember in middle school, like some get guy I had a crush on like asked me out, but they said it was just a joke. You know, like that mean oh. shit like that that would probably get like filmed. Oh yeah, it was bad. Oh, uh, high shit. school was better because there were more people and it was easier to like, you know, make friends and not like Ugh, high school was easier and well, said easier. Well, I've also, never heard that said before. Well, I also keep in mind I also slept through half of high school, so nice. while it was easier, there were other difficulties. So I think about the social aspects of high school. I had friends. We got to do some stuff. Yeah. It wasn't as, uh, but also maybe I'm remembering. That's the thing. Our memories also like. Yeah, fun. I was not social in high school. My mom forced me to be social in high school, which is really funny to people because they're always like, "You're so social," and I was like, "It is." hard for mm -hmm. me um and when i was in high school i was not social i wanted to read and stay home and my mom would punish me all the time she'd be like go out with your friends and i'd be like no and she'd be like i'm turning off cable so, she, so wait, this is how she grounds you she's like all right you're i'm turning off cable yeah. you have to go outside yeah. and play with your friends yeah i think that's actually good for you yeah. i think that's good no it, it made me uh, adapt better to social situations now I'm very thankful for it because I was very introverted yeah. and I would have just stayed at home and watched and Buffy and read Edgar Allan Poe and been a weirdo I love Poe though yeah. I know I know but she'd be like get a skirt on put some makeup on go out with your friends <laughs> I'm like no you're the worst mom ever <laughs> yeah I think on my dad's side like further back on his dad's side somehow were related to the Allen side oh. of his 
which is weird because I think like he also like married his cousin, so it's a little he weird did, back yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, but I guess if everyone goes back far enough, you find something weird like that. But yeah, yeah. I mean, my my history has a little bit of weirdness, but you know, mm. everyone has something, and a lot of people married their cousins. Not I'm in the be- back of the day. Not back now. Day, not, now. <laughs> not now. Nobody marries their cousins now. <laughs> Unless you're like, oh, you married somebody, you were adopted, you took a DNA test, and you're like, oh no, we're cousins. <gasps> that always <gasps> freaks me out. Like I, I remember like this. There was a story where like this couple had been together for like a long time, had like several kids, and then they found out they were siblings. <gasps> no. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> what do you do? Like, oh, what do you do? Ex- what do you do? <laughs> like, this explains why Billy has six toes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, why they look so much like the royal family. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Well, it's also like, it makes you think like maybe like because the person's like a slightly narcissistic because the other person kind of looks like them too. Oh, yeah. And then like maybe that's why they're really just like in love with themselves. And that's why. I mean, yeah, kind of. Mm-hmm. Like when you look at couples that like really like have like similar features, it's like, oh, you just wanted to fuck yourself. <laughs> Listen, you can do that. Yeah. I do I mean, it a lot. That's the thing. Like, if we get to the point where people are, like, making sex robots, I'm like, maybe I would have one of myself. I don't know. Damn. All right. Right out the gate, that's your first robot? <laughs> oh, that's no. your first I sex robot? If there's a se- no. Well. <laughs> like, like, you, like, they're like, okay, Sarah, here's your first slot for sex robot. You're like, <laughs> yes, make me. <laughs> I want to actually fuck myself. Well, you don't, you don't go, you don't go anybody, like. If anybody ever tells me to fuck, go fuck myself, then I'm I like, actually can. I'd be like, like, you know what? I can, and I can give myself lots of orgasms. Yeah, Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, orgasms are the best sleep remedy. That's why I don't sleep anymore. I haven't like slept with somebody in a bit. Oh. <laughs> like one time I had like four orgasms and just went to sleep for like three hours. That's the best. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just like, you know, oh, I am, yeah. I'm actually like. Spent. I'm yeah, I'm, yeah. Please don't talk to me. And just like when I wake up, please have some kind of like food for me. And oh water. yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Someone that can anticipate that need. You wake up and yeah. there's some things. Yeah, that's that's a nice thing. Yes. Um, but yeah, I I am kind of worried about the the sex robot thing that you went straight for. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. My first sex robot would be. Hmm, I mean, he'd be Michael B. Jordan with a better butt. Oh, actually, actually, that's a really good choice. That's a very good choice. No, I think I want Idris. Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Idris now or Idris ten years ago? Idris ten years ago. <laughs> I'm just so he can progress as a sex robot, not because I'm ages. <laughs> I'll take him at any age. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, what if the sex robots grow? <laughs> yeah. Get older or something. Wait, that would be defeat the purpose of the the AI the robot growth oh, like like just, aging. You want they, them to age? I guess not. I don't know. Like they like literally. We then they could be like one day you like wake up next to your sex robot and it's like a silver fox and you're like damn. Dude. See that's a problem. Like, <laughs> when men age, it's like oh silver fox. When women age, it's like you either have to age like Jennifer Aniston and J Lo, which have like crazy money to like. I don't know what they do. I don't know if they are like drinking unicorn blood or whatever, but like share. They look amazing. Share with the world. <laughs> share what you Yeah, please what you tell do. us. Tell us what you really But you do. could be like you could be like Helen Mirren and yeah. like if oh, you yeah, woke up badass. next to Helen Mirren at any age, whether mm. it was like Caligula era mm. where she was like showing her naked body in an yeah. orgy scene, or now I would be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that are aging well too. Yeah. You know? Monica Bellucci, any age. Mm-hmm. Any age age hmm. um so yeah I, I think maybe i'd have an army of sex robots an army oh, oh you'd have a rotation of sex robots yeah i'd have a little rotation yeah. right like a little yeah. i probably use etris the most so are I'm you worried that they would sleep with each other when they're not sleeping with you yes because i'm a scorpio and i don't want anybody else to touch my things <laughs> so you'd have to keep all the sex robots in separate sections so they don't yeah i would turn them off oh yeah can you turn them off Ooh, that's a good... Yeah, I think you can. Yeah. I'd be like, no sexy time between you two. No. <laughs> Unless Until- I'm there. Oh, God. If I'm there, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but there's going to be rules with my sex robots. <laughs> <laughs> no so- kissing on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty woman rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No kissing on the mouth. Only touch me. <laughs> I'm very selfish with my sex robots. <laughs> A sentence you never thought you'd say. <laughs> Shockingly, not that shocking. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god! When I worked at Hustler, we used to have those um, those real dolls, the ones that were like latexy or like I don't know what they were made out of. They're just like soft, squishy, like yeah, human skinny. They feel like human skin. Yeah, we had two of them, and we put them in this glass case, and then they started to rot. What? They started to rot? Yeah, we had like a boy and a girl and they started to like kind of get like stinky and rotty because we had them in a gla- glass case. So we threw them away and there was literally people <laughs> by the dumpster like waiting for us to get <laughs> to grab these oh, melted, they were ready. molded, nasty Ew. sex dolls. <laughs> yeah, I, that's different. That I thought you were going to say we threw them in the dumpster. People thought they were real people and then no. they came out. Like my mind went to a totally different plot point there. <laughs> no, these guys were like waiting. <laughs> waiting for us to throw them away. And I'm Ew. like, they are so nasty. What are you going to do with it? I mean, I, I that's not the question I meant to ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you knew. I knew it's, what it's they were going to do It's interesting because they evolved from like, they were like blow-up dolls yeah. and then they were like... We had lots of blow-up dolls. Yeah. And yeah. lots of variety of blow-up dolls. Really? Like animals and stuff. Uh, that's so uh, weird. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's just, you know, we had some weird stuff. That is, and then we had some great stuff. We had some weird stuff. We had some great stuff, mm. but mainly weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was the one on Hollywood Boulevard. It was when it was on Sunset Boulevard when it was like a major like complex where we had like an adult section, we had like a, a clothing section, and we had a cafe mm-hmm. where we ser- served really good milkshakes, and um, like they would have like names like Plymouth Cock or the Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Very strange. They were delicious. Yes, <laughs> I do cock. love. I do love a theme that like, like specifies like good cocktails, like that place you yeah. went, uh, better than sex. Oh yeah, that was so good. Yeah, it's a restaurant that just serves dessert and dessert cocktails. So if you want yeah. like a cocktail that tastes like a piece of cake, and then also have a piece of cake. Yeah, I had a cake martini, and they literally, I don't know how they they infused it with cake. They put the cake I in it. It was amazing. And then we had a piece of cake and they can they'll write stuff whatever yeah, you want on there. Yeah, and they wrote a very specific message because I was on a break at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Which was great. I'm like, hey. It was great. He, no. He's like, what are you celebrating? And you I were was like, like, well, I just got broken up with or put on a break again. <laughs> he's like, cool. Gotcha. <laughs> and it's like, you know, now I know that's a good place to go if you're like, you know, trying to yeah, yeah. it was great. <laughs> It was delicious. It was. It gets your mind off of it. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That place is great. I need to go back there. That's the other thing I, I'm interested to find out with, like, the AIs. Like, are they going to, like, use that to, like, help write people's, like, breakups or things like that? Uh, like, if people are going to start, like, using AI to, like, rely on them, be like, hey, like, inner breakup module, and then that's how they send it. <sighs> I mean... I, I don't think they would be any better than most people. I don't know. Unless they're trying to make money and they collaborate with Uber Eats and then they make sure they buy you like a nice dinner before they break up with you and like they require stuff maybe. No. Maybe. I, I mean, know. I don't know. AI is going to open up a lot of stupid things. Yeah. <laughs> it already does. I mean, like, I, like I've tried to, you know... I mean, I get some of these commercial auditions, and I'm like, I think that was written by AI. I don't think a human wrote that. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Um, what was the one that just like was written by AI? God, there was like a movie or a commercial that came out. I don't know, but yeah, it's weird. I I think you can tell really, really well that it's not a human, but <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. Maybe maybe I'm just wanting to tell. Yeah. You just want to know the difference? Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to get to the point where we can't tell. I'm going to pitch another show. Yeah, okay, because, here we go. Because here we go. as it develops and it gets better, then maybe there's a TV show where it's like, was this AI or was this written by a person? And yeah. like, that's a game show there. It's um, like, is this cake? Yeah, but is this... Is this, this AI? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which you don't get to eat it. So you don't get to eat it, so it's not as much fun. It's fun, yeah. <laughs> but I, I mean, yeah, that would be a good game show. But yeah, no, I'm just thinking about cake. Because <laughs> you love cake. I love cake. And uh, if you haven't watched Is This Cake, it is so funny. It is. It's great. It's so I think funny. it's awesome. And it's also hard to tell, but they also have a distance thing. So it's like, yeah. oh, they're from across the room. So like, there are other little tricks that you can yeah. tell where it's like, oh, like, is that a water gun or is that a cake? I don't know. <gasps> yeah. Well, sometimes I'm like, really? You didn't get the way mm. see that one? No. I like cake, maybe. No. But, but yeah, maybe, maybe you don't have as uh, good a... Uh, 
eyesight as you. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. I, it's going downhill. Don't worry. <laughs> Every year of my life, I get a little bit less. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> less eyesight. That, I think that too. Actually, I'm very... So I've always had like a lazy left eye. Not as in like it's like lazy and veers off. It's just lazy as in like it does it's a work. No, yeah, it's it's like it's the group project. Like the right eye is the Hermione. The left eye is like the other person in the project that doesn't really do the work. So, so my right eye has like twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah, and the left eye is the Ron. Yeah, and so <laughs> and so it's like my right eye has always done most of the work. They wanted me to wear a patch when I was ten. Like, all day during school. And I was already, I told you, I was already made fun of at this age. So I didn't want to do social no, suicide. So you do not want to be the eye patch girl. I, yeah, so I couldn't do it. So I was like, I didn't wear it. And so my eyesight did not get better. And it's just continually been the right eye oh, doing the work. No. And now my left eye is, like, pretty bad. I'm like, I should probably look at getting contacts. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I have had to, like, now wear glasses a little bit, but I always had perfect vision until, like, last year. And I was like, is there anything I could do? Is there, like, a vitamin or some kind of... Yeah. And my uh, eye doctor was like, no, you're just old now, and it's just going to get worse next no! year. No! And I was like, really? No! Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't talk to me ever again. And... I think Give you need me to, my prescription no, now. No. I think I'm going to start asking <laughs> celebrities what they do. I'm just going to be like, okay, like, what's, the, what's the real trick? They do They do laser. I'm kind of afraid of the LASIK. Uh, I don't know. Like, it's a little too quick, you know? Um, I don't know. My friends that have gotten it have been very happy with it. So I guess cutting open your eye with a laser isn't that bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't even put contacts in. I tried to do it for a cosplay once, and I, like, tore my eyelid. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I'm not good with that. That's the thing. That's why I'm also really bad at like putting on like eyeliner and like fake eyelashes oh, and yeah. stuff because it's really bad. <laughs> I glue my eye together every time I do lashes. <sighs> it's really bad. Like when I, I used to do this RuPaul Drag Race after show and I was the only biological female on it, mm-hmm. which they love to say. They're like, oh, she's the only biological female on it. And 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 they were like, and that's why she can't do lashes and that's why she can't do oh. makeup. And I'm like, <laughs> God, you know what? Like maybe do my makeup then so I don't look so tragic next to you all. And I know, like, so many people in the pandemic were like, oh, I'm going to, like, show you how to, like, contour. And And I was just like, nah, I don't want to do that. I'm in the pandemic. I want to not wear a bra for, like, you know, 300 days straight. (laughs) Not having a bra on is, like, the best. I I call it bra 30, where you can, like, look at me, and I'm like, I have been in my bra too long. I need to go home. I need to release Jack and Karen and just, like, let them run free. Yeah. Jack and you name your boobs? Yeah. Jack and Karen. Has it always been Jack and Karen? It hasn't. Okay. There was a there was a man that named them before, and it was not a great name. It was Witty and Titty. Oh, uh, that is yeah. that, that's not even that unique. That's no, no. And my ass is named, and my vagina, and you have names for everything. No, no, I didn't name oh, my you vagina didn't name. Oh. or my butt. Okay. So, but you renamed your boobs. I took my power back with my titties. Yeah, I think that's smart. yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, my butt was named by some girl backstage, and she was like, she's like, oh my god, your ass is Angelica. And I was like, cool. And she's like, name mine. And I was like, Susan. <laughs> that doesn't sound great. It wasn't a great butt. Susan what am I makes supposed me to think, say? Yeah, yeah, Susan makes she me think. She put me on the spot. It was a Susan butt. <laughs> it was a Susan. <laughs> You can't just put a Susan butt in front of me and go name it. She wanted a Beyonce butt. She well, didn't want a Susan butt. <laughs> she needed to do some Beyonce squats. <laughs> go hiking. Yeah, go hiking. That is a Susan butt. Don't name it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, but yeah. Wow. That's yeah. What, you you to go. You yeah. Gotta. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, don't ask me to name things <laughs> if you don't want the truth. <laughs> That's the thing. I think like naming stuff is just like it makes it real, you know. Yeah. Like I think if people are like, ha- and my ass is real, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just like I said, like with the uh, with like kids and babies and stuff. Like you know, like yeah, like I didn't, you know, like oh they're having a baby, great, you know, when the, na- the baby the has name. a name, and it's like okay. <laughs> then you're like a person. You're yeah. not like a worm. Yeah. Like some kind of parasite that lived inside my friend. Yeah, I used, I used to be afraid of babies until I became an aunt. <laughs> yeah, I have never, um, I like, I became an aunt at nine, so I don't oh, even wow. remember not being around babies. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and when you hear about like the first like the, the first few years of me being an aunt, you're like, oh yeah, you were nine. <laughs> well, 
Well, I was an aunt too because I have half sisters that are a lot older. Yeah. But it's like the same thing where I, this is the first time as I'm an adult and they're a kid and yeah. I'm able because I have a. 13 and a 17 year old nephew but I was so much younger when they were born it wasn't like I was like oh I'll watch the kids for you know and I (laughs) I wasn't uh, I I wasn't mistakes (laughs) yeah I wasn't uh, there then um, like that but like this time it's like oh ah yeah I'll I'll, I'll take the kids to a museum for four hours which you know that's it's good you know kids are good like they're adorable I like my niece I'm going to be honest, I have favorites. I have favorites, too. Um, and one of them is, like, a little bit breaking my heart right now because my nephew is turning 13. Mm-hmm. And I was, like, he was my, like, Lego partner and all that stuff like that. And the other day I was, like, I was like, oh, do you want to go to Legoland? And he was, like, well. And I was, like, oh, no. He's too old for Legoland. Like, no, I'm not too old. I don't, I, I would want to go. I was, like, no. no. No, you're just placating me. You're a man oh, now. No. You're a man now. You just want to go on roller coasters and play Xbox. My heart, my heart. Next thing it's going to be girls or boys, and I'm going to have to kill them all. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. You can date him Mm -hmm. if you're worthy. (laughs) <laughs> you have to go through a test. You do, must you do, must do. solve these three riddles Riddle and do a three. physical <laughs> a physical test to date my nephew. And guess what? You still won't pass. <laughs> <laughs> no, if he likes you, I won't st- stab you. But if you break his heart, if you break his heart, I will stab you. <laughs> Wait, is that legally blind- binding? Blinding? Is that legally blinding? No, no, I think we're fine. <laughs> it's legally blonding. <laughs> uh, Oh, there's a puppy looking at me. Yes. <laughs> oh. mm. uh, so we are starting to wind down the podcast a little okay. bit. So I always ask people um, what your dreams are for the future. Mm, my dreams for the future. I want to be the female Jordan Peele. All right. Yeah. I fucking love that. I That's want great. a whole freaking horror comedy empire. And I want to bring all my friends along. Yeah. To be, to be in there. To be in there. I I'm going to be like... All the boys clubs. I'm gonna bring everybody up in there. <laughs> yes, I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my dreams. Um, also, you know, Idris. Yeah, Idris yeah. sex doll. <laughs> Idris sex doll. <laughs> Idris sex doll. <laughs> Is that not a dream I'm supposed to have? Oh, Idris sex doll and cake. Mm. <gasps> Idris sex doll made of cake. Ooh. <gasps> <laughs> I know if. Yeah, next like big birthday, make it a cake out of Edith Angela. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, also, fund Pecker's restaurant. I like all the goals we've set for you today. Thank you. But yeah, and also let people know where they can find and follow you. Yes, you can follow me at Anastasia Wash on Instagram, and I believe at Anastasia W on everything else. Uh, AnastasiaWashington.com. Um, oh, uh, I'm on Audible with my book now. Um, yes. So if you have extra credits on Audible, just totally use them on me. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's a uh, great self help. Need- <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's called uh, You Need to Hear This. Um, so yeah, you know you have a whole bunch of Audible credits laying yeah. around. Just use them on me. Yes, multiple <laughs> times. Just buy it five times. <laughs> just kidding. There's no point. <laughs> um, well, anyways, thanks so much for doing the podcast. Thanks for we always end by saying good night. So good night, everybody. Good night. Thanks for listening to Sleeping with Sarah, where I slept with Anastasia Washington. You can follow Anastasia on Instagram at Anastasia Wash. She is going to be at the Overlook Film Festival in New Orleans next week with the movie MLM, as well as the Pasadena Film Festival with the movie Deadhead. She's also got a book called You Need to Hear This, and you can get that on Kindle and Barnes and Noble and also wherever you listen to audiobooks because it's a great audiobook. If you like the podcast, please follow Sleeping with Sarah on YouTube and TikTok and Sleeping with Sarah Pod on Instagram. Big shout out to my team, especially Alex Garcia and Patrick Sugar, and thanks to Josh Bryant for the music. If you'd like to follow me, you can follow me at Sarah Albritton on Instagram and threads and at Sarah Albritton Comedy on TikTok or go to sleepysarah.com for upcoming shows. I'll be releasing a podcast every other week, so tune in to find out who I have in bed with me next. Until next time, good night. Sleeping with Sarah.